What's going on guys, it's Bounds here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a render that looks like this. In Cinema 4D, this is done with a plugin called Umami, and also it has a bit of Nitro West in there. Um, but the plugins will be in the description below if you guys don't have them, just check in the description and you can download these. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys how to make this render. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you uh, how to put it on a background, but if you guys do want to see that, just let me know. And I'll be sure to make a video on that, but here's what it's going to look like in the end. Um, it has these kind of tentacles coming out of it. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this, so let's just go ahead and get into it. And I, just, well, I was just playing around this earlier, so I'm just going to delete this. And I will leave this uh, Lightroom, it's not mine, but I think it is uh, Fezzo Designs or somebody like that. Um, but I will leave it in the download, so you guys can get all these materials. These are the ones that you are going to be needing. You actually just need these two right here, just need to delete these extra ones. So this is all going to be needing right here, so I'll leave this in the description below. So uh, once you have this, all you want to do is start off is uh, getting your logo. So let me see if I actually do have one. Um, you just be using your logo for this, obviously, but I'm just going to use, let's see. I'll do, uh, let's look for a cool one. I'm not sure whose logos these are. No, that's not work. Um, and you're also going to want to merge it instead of opening it. So I'll merge and then get your logo AI in here. So. Uh, let's go for I'm not sure what these uh, logos look like, so I'm just gonna try to find one that'll kind of show this a little bit better. Some logos do work better than others for this. So I'm just gonna try to find a good one. Uh, I'm not sure what these look like. Uh, Alright, this could work right here. I'm just gonna use this one. So then I'm gonna bring this all the way back down here. Let's just get it right down here. I'm also gonna put a camera here just so I can save this little um, view that I got here. So I'm just gonna put in a camera. Click this. Unclick it. All right. So now once you have your logo, you're just gonna put it in, get it situated in here. Then you want to click the plus button right here, and you're gonna want to make it 3D. So you guys should know this already, but you're just gonna go to this little green cube right here. You want to go to True Nerves. Get however many of them. Uh, get however many. Uh, pass you have, you want to get that many extrude nerves, so I'm going to need three of these. So let's just get three of them. You want to drag the pass into the extrude nerves, so there's one there, one there, and one there. You can delete this all little thing right there, so. Close these. So now your, uh, your logo should be 3D now, so it should look something like that. We're not going to leave it like that, because that uh, doesn't really look that good, but anyway. Uh, we're going to click on the first extrude nerves, click on the last one, hold shift, so you select all of them. Go to caps, you want to put on a fillet cap, both of these, and you want to put the steps for 10, radius on 3, steps on 10, radius on 3. So you should be having something like this, you're also going to want to make the depth a little bit more, so uh, let's just do something like that, you can play, you, this can be however you guys want, however thick you want it, um, but I'm just going to do something like that. Alright, so now what you want to do. I'm going to hold Alt and G while these are still selected, all of these, all of your extrude nerves still selected. Hold Alt and G so you put them into a little group. I'm just going to name this logo so you can stay organized. But uh, anyway, next you're going to want to hide it by clicking the two dots over here that are on top of each other, making them red. So you get that. Alright, now what you want to do, this is where you need your mommy. So like I said, it'll be, the download will be in the description. So you go to plugins and you mommy and she gets something like this. So, um, you just want to rotate it, get your rotate tool, rotate it 90 degrees, so it's kind of like sideways, so that's fine, bring it back up here so you can actually see it. Alright, so now what you want to do, this is, this is going to seem confusing, but if you guys just stick with me, you'll get it. Alright, so what you want to do, is you actually want to go up here to this, uh, well before we do that here, we need to change the thing, so go over here, then go to spline. And the only thing you're going to want to mess with on here is down here it says height scale and height randomness. You're just going to want to mess with this. Uh, you can bring the height scale down however you want it. This is up to you. I'm just uh, You just play around this with it, whatever thing looks good. You don't have to use my exact settings for this, but you can if you want to. So basically just random. Random will give you like different paths that the uh, little tentacles will follow. So these right here, these little orange tentacles coming out. This is basically what this is right here. So make this look however you want to. I'm just going to do something along the lines of... 
Uh, let's make it a little bit longer. Uh, something like that. I don't know. You guys can play around this. Um, I'm just gonna try to get through this a little bit quick, just for the sake of the video. But once you get that how you want it, next you just want to go up here to this little line thing, little orange thing. You're gonna want to get a circle, and you're gonna want to get a uh, cogwheel. So then once you get that, select both of them by holding Shift. Get your scale tool, make it a little bit smaller. Uh, something like that would be fun. Then you just want to move it to basically the end of. Uh, the end of your little uh, umami thing right here, so, so get this ring. I guess you just want to put it right there on the end of it. Move this again, move it down here. Something like that would be fine. Alright, so once you get that, this is how you basically make it 3D right here. You just want to go to umami, you want to click on the umami, go to mesh, and right here where it says profile spawn, there's going to be this little uh, mouse area with a circle, you want to click that, and then you want to click on circle. And you want to click on it again, and you want to click on cogwheel. So basically, if I can this out a little bit for you guys, you'll see that our uh, our uh, tentacle, I guess you would call it, is now 3D. You can see it a little bit right there. So I'm saying, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a group. Alt G on this. Name this uh, Umami, whatever you want to call it. And basically, you just want to duplicate this. So Control C, Control V, you can now uh, unhide your logo. So now you just want to line this up however you guys want it, so I'm just going to, let me delete this copy real quick. First get uh, your first one, how you want that to look, so let's see here, um, you can have it coming out a little bit like this, sticking through it if you want to, you can have it in the back. You can really do anything with this, it's just up to you, so uh, just mess around with this however you guys like it. I might do it like coming through these little spikes in the middle of the logo or whatever they are, so I might do something that looks like that. But yeah, you guys can play around with this. And now, once you have the left side looking how you want it, duplicate it, get your rotation tool, and you're going to turn this. You're going to want to rotate it 180 degrees. You can hold shift when you do this to make it a little bit easier. So you get it to 180 somewhere around there. Go back to your uh, move tool. And then you just want to make this side look how you uh, want it to make it. So I want you guys to get the umami how you, how you want it to look. Basically, just want to start putting color on it. So uh, if you guys are using the light room that I put in the description, you will already have this color. If you don't want blue, then you can just uh, go to color right here, change it to literally whatever color you want. Anyway, once you do that, just drag it onto the umami like this. And uh, I should probably take that to do that. But once you drag it on there, hold Control to uh, put it on the other umami. So once you get that, we're gonna start working on the logo now. So uh, let's see. Duplicate the logo first to start off with. Let's take these extrude nerves out. So just drag them out of the uh, logo group like this. And you can just delete this uh, logo one or whatever. Alright, so once you get this, we're basically going to do a nitro blast. So this is the other plugin you're going to need. It will be in the description below. So I download that. And so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make it look like. Uh, let's see. We're basically, going to make it look like it's cracking, like you see right here. So let's do this. Hold shift and select all these little plugins, Nitro Blast, Nitro Blast main. Now there's only two things you're gonna want to mess around in here. Basically take the quality to high and the pieces to uh, 160 to 190 I would say. So anywhere in between there. Then you're just gonna click fracture and uh, just let this render out. Shouldn't take that long depending on uh, your computer and stuff like that. But basically what it's doing is it's just uh, cutting up the pieces as you see right here. You now it's kind of like cracked, so that's basically really all it's doing. Alright, so now that it's done, we are just going to close out of this. And now you see you have two new materials on here. You just want to delete the blue one, delete the yellow one. And then what you want to do is you want to take this uh, sort of lava material right here. You want to put it on the ins the left side of uh, over here in the material. We'll put it on the left side. So put that there. Put the wrong one. Put these all on the left side. 
like that, and then you want to put this other one on the right side. And then you're just going to select by clicking and dragging it over here. You just want to make sure all of these are set to are set to a projection. You want to make sure they're on frontal and uh, seamless as too. So that's really all you want to make sure of that. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to um, MoGraph and Fracture. So now what you're going to do is you want to click on this, this first nitroblastic extruder. Click it, click on the pieces, click on the dynamic. And this is where it kind of gets uh, a little bit time consuming if you have a lot of paths. So, what you want to do is click on the first piece, piece zero. Scroll down, hold shift, click on the last one. Scroll back up, and drag it into the fracture, and delete it. So, you want to do this for all of the uh, little extreme nerves that you have over here. Alright, so once you have all of your pieces into the fracture, you are just going to go to MoGraph, a factor, and random. Take the random. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, Sim 40 actually crashed for some reason, but um, anyway, what I was saying, I believe, is. Let's see, where are we at? Uh, okay, yeah. Click on the fracture, go to MoGraph, a factor, and random. And then take the random into the fracture, and you'll get like it's kind of exploding. So you just want to go down here to a factor. Change the strengths, um, let's see, if I can find that one that I did, of, uh, so let's see. So as you can see, it's cracking, but it's not cracking too much, so it kind of gives it like a nice smooth feel to it. So I think I did like 10% on that one, let's see. something, you guys can mess around with this, I don't think a lot works too much, but it kind of takes away, like, that you can tell that it's a logo. So I'm going to do like 11, so I'm just going to do that. So once you have that, you just basically want to, you can leave it like this if you want to, or you can, um, you can actually, let me change the blue, I don't think I'll look good like this. Uh, let me change this to red, so it's like that, and then let me put this back on the uh, email me. Something like that. Let me know in the comments by leaving a like and a comment, and if you guys do want to see it, then I will, um, upload a video about that, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. for you guys. Alright, so now you can leave it like this, or you can take it one step farther. As you can see, there's a little little bit of the uh, fracture in the back, so I'm sure you guys how to do that. You basically just duplicate your, um, take your logo right here, your very first one, click on that one, get a window, you know, window plugins, nitro glass, nitro glass main, basically the same thing, so high, and I'm just gonna do 160 again. You can't break that, we have to do it on the extrude nerve, sorry about that, make sure you have your extrude nerve selected. Natural glass, natural glass main, uh, high, and 160. So, uh, click fracture, and let it do its thing. Actually, I take that back, if you guys want to make this a little bit easier, no, this is already fractured. Uh, once this is done, I'll show you how to do this a little bit faster. So, I'm just gonna undo that. Basically, if you want to make this a little bit fra faster, you can just duplicate your original fracture. So, let's see if you can see the back of it. Click on the random and just bring it up. So now you see we have something that looks like this. So let's just uh, turn this out real quick and see what it's looking like. So uh, one thing that I just noticed actually is uh, the mommies are actually like kind of small compared to the logo. So I'm just gonna scale these up a little bit more. So I'm gonna do something like that and just move it in because the mommies are looking way too skinny. 
so let's just make them a little bit bigger so like that and we're just gonna delete this skinny one control c control v and then rotate to and rotate it to 180 to the other side do something like that and um i think that's gonna look a lot better and i'll be back with you guys once i render, render this out and get the uh, final render so i can show you guys so uh, this is what it looks like when you're totally done with the render um, like I said, if you guys want to see how to put it on a YouTube banner and uh, basically see how to make it look better on a YouTube background, then basically see how to make it look better on a YouTube background, then let me know in the comments by leaving a like and a comment. And if you guys do want to see it, then I will um, upload a video about that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.